who did not see the sign that there is one here, taps their brakes. And then the three cars behind them runs into them. Right. And, and I, I don't know, I've looked at a lot of studies, but, but let's, let's go back to the, to, to the, the, the argument of, and, and you, know, you know folks, I've talk, I talk about the Constitution a lot on this show. The Constitution says you have a right to face your accuser. And that is one of the problems that I have with this. You know, um, Robocop. Uh, yeah, so it's, it, it's Robocop. Um, you know, you're sitting at your home, the mailman, you know, pulls up, and lo and behold, a third party, private, for profit corporation who has been granted powers by the government elected officials that you elected, they have the right to send you a ticket. And uh, we, were, we were just talking about one earlier. Uh, in one case in, in South Florida, and the reason we, we, we saw the numbers is because the Citizens Advocate Group, uh, uh, one of the members of the Sunshine Brigade, wanted to see who was getting tickets and how it was being handled. So they, they gave the numbers, and one of these vans, they wrote almost $800,000 worth of tickets in one year. The private for-profit corporation, which your elected officials signed the contract with, got $150,000 of that. And uh, <coughs> it... it, it uh, That's one-twentieth of a shovel ready. <laughs> one-twentieth. Well, I want to I wanna take my hat off. Sometimes editorials in the Pensacola News Journal aggravate me a little bit, but... But I'm I'm on a, I'm gonna stand in support of uh, this was an editorial by the Pensacola News Journal. Uh, traffic cameras uh, let us know uh, one of the things that they that that they made very clear in this is that proper signage should be put up. It should not be a surprise. Uh, the whole element of hiding from the citizens to catch them in an act that they didn't agree with that it should have well-placed signs with reasonable knowledge that the camera is there and those signs should continue to stay in place. Now, you know, they were kind of okay with the camera itself, but at least the editorial of Pensacola News Journal did, did, um, did jump out there and say that, you know, it's not fair to entrap your citizens. And uh, I, I just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm from here in, uh, in, the, in the city of Milton, for example, had a law that said if you have a wreck within the city of Milton, you have to bear all the cost. Well, that eventually was thrown out by the state legislature, and, and it probably, uh, had, it, had it gone to court, it would have been thrown out. You can't single people out just because they happen to be driving through your city. Uh, here is here is another one that I just don't agree with. You know, at a time when we should be encouraging people to move into the city of Milton, when we have uh, uh, business spots available for businesses to move into in the downtown area, yeah, when we have vacancies along the Highway 90 corridor inside the city of Milton, I just don't think we should be doing things and 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 and. Folks, look, every time you read about one of these, the politicians always proclaim, oh, it's for your safety. It's for your safety. We love and care about you. It is only a matter of safety. Well, in my humble opinion, I don't believe that plea. I bet there's some way it's going to bring good jobs to the area as well. <laughs> well, well you, 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 you hire a private for-profit company from out of state who happens to have a computer program and a and a camera yeah all their expense is a guy to go move the van every now and then or just to install the camera and they just sit there it's like a casino machine yeah. the money's just rolling out of it yeah and um i'd be to be perfectly honest with you i believe that the city of milton i know that they have a city police corps there and uh, look, I'm all I'm all for human beings writing tickets for human beings, 
if there's a problem with speeding on the road, that sit there and hand $140 speeding tickets out all day long. Yeah. When you find somebody, if there if there's a red light where where some where where people keep running the red light, go sit in the bushes there and ride a few of them. I don't have a problem with that, but I just the the robo cop, cop approach to this is something that I just don't, you know. Well, we know that um, property uh, tax revenues are on the decline. Right. So the revenues are lower, lower, lower every year, and now you're going to really see the nickel and diming start up. <laughs> I'm I'm serious, and this is this is just one step. You're going to see every kind of fee that you can imagine. Well, we've already seen a lot of those. Yeah. You know, but ballparks paying right. their lights. Right. And, you know, uh, uh, here here's a good one. I got a nice shock. Bought a car for Mrs. Cooey. I didn't have a tag to um, to transfer, so I bought a new. I had to buy a new tag. Three hundred dollars and seven cents later. Yeah. I'm the proud owner owner of a tag. Right. Now, folks, a few years back. We had an impact fee, 250 If you brought a car in from out of state, you had to pay $250. Well, that was ruled unconstitutional. Well, my, my, my friends or my so-called friends in the legislature said, well, we fix that. Yeah. Every time you've got to buy a tag, we load the wagon on you. Yeah. You know, so there's $300 that I had to put out, you know. It, it it absolutely is a nickel a nickel here and a yeah. nickel there and that we're seeing the um, mysterious rise in electricity prices, uh, electric electricity bills. We don't we're told that has to do with fuels costs, but there's really I mean I'd like to see the books on that. Let's put it that way. Right, exactly. And of course we know that um, <coughs> local governments get a, a take. When the, when the electricity bill goes up, they get a take. They get a take of the electricity. Oh yeah, well we you know five percent. Right, they uh, you know there's the franchise fee. There's a there's a big smile on elected officials' faces when the power bill goes up because they yeah. get five percent of the increase. Right, exactly. Well, they yeah. get five percent of your entire bill. Period. Right. You know, so it it uh it, you know it just never ceases to amaze me. I uh I, and and if I hadn't been clear enough so far, ladies and gentlemen, I am adamant adamantly opposed to red light cameras always have been always will be and I just don't think they're a good idea I, you know I just I just well I agree with you I think it's gonna cause people to overthink what they're doing at the intersection and, and I think it's gonna cause more accidents than it solves right absolutely well um, Deborah I think you're me yours truly yes at uh, spoken at the beginning of political season, and I had predicted that um, not Republican, not Democrat, not Independent, but new faces. Right. And uh, uh, I do want to take a minute. We're, 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 we're going to step all the way across the pond, as they say, and let's look at Britain for a moment. Um, uh, a left-wing party had been in control of Britain's parliament for 17 years. And uh, uh, even though it wasn't a clean sweep for conservatives, uh, they just installed a conservative prime minister in, uh, in Britain. And uh, so that was, you know, kind of, here's another country that... Is can, can I just point something sure. out there, though? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have the exact numbers, but I do know that the percentages of votes for the Liberal Democrats mm -hmm. and the Labor Party combined, which are both, it's that's the left right. and the far left, mm -hmm. quote unquote, uh, exceeded the number of votes for uh, the well, Conservative I, I understand that. But so the, the left vote was actually split, the, the, is what happened. The, the far left was taken out. And, well, and that's... And that's I, wouldn't, I wouldn't call them far left, but that's another story. Entirely. Well, well they, they, they were taken out. Yes, they were. And, and, and it is a... It is a uh, uh, the conservative party along with the normal liberal party which I guess you would associate yourself more with the liberal party <laughs> no comment I'm, I'm nonpartisan for the purposes of this show now let's jump back across the pond over here and uh, boy the incumbents are getting knocked down left and right uh, 